What is going on, everybody? Continuing, I the Mask from In Flames. This is track eight in this life, and this is been, this album so far has been a tale of two halves. The first four songs are like off an entirely different album than the last three. Let's see what the final five. Oh, we know it. We know "Stay with Me" is like an acoustic, nice or not acoustic, but it's a nice ballad to end the album. I like it, but. So we got, let's see how the other four in between until we get there. So far, it's been three straight songs of basically no harsh vocals. I didn't know In Flames did that many songs like that. You know what I mean? I love the cleans, but I also like the mix. I like the mix. So it's kind of strange. that The last few have just completely, entirely abandoned it. Let's see if In This Life kind of brings us back. Hit like if you're watching this on YouTube. Let's check it out. I don't know. Okay, see, we're still going down this path. Now, this sounds like it's not, it's another not bad song. But, it is very strange. You guys have to inform me, like, is this normal in Flames? Because this, they've completely, the last few songs have abandoned any semblance of being metal. Which is okay. I like all genres just be good. Like the last song. Wasn't metal at all. But it was a pretty good song. This song so far so good. But no resemblance to metal whatsoever. So just... Odd. I've never seen someone mid-album just deviate so drastically. It's like they were recorded two years apart. You know what I mean? It's, it's a drastic switch. It's like they converted mid-album. That's very odd, because it's like the entire inspiration just changed. Holy shit. Stay alive. The walls are closing.
it's just again like this is a good song it's a good good music you could jam to this but it is really like <laughs> it's like if you were listening to a Slipknot album again Slipknot's way heavier so not the best example but hear me out it's like listening to a Slipknot album and then on the fifth song You're, it's Stone Sour. It's like, I like Stone Sour. Stone Sour sounds good. But, mid-album? Very, very strange. <laughs> like, now it's like, I, maybe they should have taken the four songs from the beginning and kind of split them up and spread them out throughout the album so it wasn't such a drastic Light switch. Flip. Because that's the main thing. Not, it's another not bad song. But. Whoa. It's just a, it's a whole different version of this band. I did not really know they did often. Like. I could see like one or two songs on an album. Being. A completely this other genre. But. It's kind of like alternative rock is kind of what this is. <laughs> it's a completely different genre than the beginning. It's just odd. I can't focus, I can't control. Close to expired with a broken soul. The rage has See, like, again, that song is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not going to, like, stand out from, like, uh, again, I, I before doing this full album, people have sent me requests from a whole bunch of different eras of In Flames. And I don't know if I've ever gotten any from this chunk, like, from this genre of them. So I, did, I was unaware they hit this genre so hard. Which is fine. Again, I don't mind it. I listen to uh, Chevelle and Trust Company and... What's, what's another one from that era? <laughs> Hoobastank? It's, it's got like a heavier Hoobastank. So, uh, some Seether type of thing. But I've never really seen it change mid-album for someone. It's, for example, like Linkin Park, Hybrid Theory album, Meteora, and then they had I can't, A Thousand Suns was in there, Hunting Party was in there, there's a whole bunch in there, but you could feel all the way till One More Light, One More Light, One Last Light, whatever. You could, they slowly progressed as the album and be turned into what one more light ended up being. You know what I mean? Very light, very poppy, pop heavy. Very different than hybrid theory. But there was over a decade of transformation. And when I listened to all their albums in order, I could I I felt and noticed the slow change. This is mid album. It feels like Eight years, six to eight year difference of a band. Very strange. It's like they switched producers mid-album. It's boggling my mind. It's just, that's the main thing. Is it's it's 
kind of blowing my mind. Never seen it happen before. But all right. In this life, not a bad song, but nothing no one's going to write home to their family about. Not rushing off to tell the homies about In This Life from In Flames. You're telling about Call My Name. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We still have a couple left, bro. <laughs> but we're getting to a point where I don't see them turning back. Because we have Burn, Deep Inside, All the Pain, and then Stay With Me. And Stay With Me is a ballad type of softer song. Done very well, though. But at this point, they might as well, I guess, just stick with this genre and it leads into kind of nicely with, with Stay With Me. Just not how I expected this album to go. And at that point, you almost want to say, because at, at first, after Follow Me and This Is Our House, I was like, well, these would be better just on a different In Flames album. Shit, maybe the first four songs just should have been on a different In Flames album because it's this is starting to outnumber them. <laughs> so maybe this is the uh, sound that they were going for more than the first four songs. I don't know. Got a couple left. Let me know what you guys think. It's a great thing about these about doing these full album things. You never really know. You have no fucking idea how it's going to go. <laughs> no idea.